Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video I'll be teaching you how to crochet helmets and hoodies for your amigurumi characters. This pattern was designed to fit on my goblinoid characters, specifically goblins, trolls, and orcs. But with some alterations, these helmets can likely fit other amigurumi as well. They're all designed with ear holes so that you can add them to any smaller goblinoid creature's heads. In this free version of the pattern, we'll be discussing how to make the base helmet pattern, which I build off of in the full bundle to make helmet variations like these skull helmets and these uh, little soldier helmets here. You can go to thegoblinoids.com to get the full pattern bundle to access the uncut version of this video where I go into detail for the other helmet variations, as well as a variety of other patterns including how to make each species of character, how to customize each character, and how to make other hats, items, and weapons for your amigurumi. Each pattern in the bundle not only includes a full video version like this, but also written instructions with time codes and check marks to keep track of your progress. The full bundle costs $15, but you can also access it by becoming a Club Crochet member or Louis Loops Patreon supporter for $5 a month. Again, you can access the full bundle at thegoblinoids.com. Okay, well, without further ado, let's get hooking. All right, so for this video, we're going to be using all worsted weight yarn in brown. And because I'm using worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in the ends. Okay, so you want to start with either the chain 2 method or the magic loop method. I'll be using the magic loop method because I find it a little bit easier. And we're just going to pull through and create a chain right there. Pull it off our finger now. And for round 1 of the base helmet pattern, we'll be working 6 single crochets into the second chain from the hook or into the magic loop. We're obviously doing the magic loop. So we're just going to make 6 single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, and here is six. Okay, now we can pull this a little tighter. All right. For round two, we're going to be increasing in each stitch around. So that means uh, for this pattern, we're not going to be turning at all for the entire pattern. We're just going to be working in a spiral in a circle. So we're just going to go into the first single crochet that we made right here. And we're going to make an increase into that stitch by doing two single crochets. So there's one and two. And we're going to do an increase into each stitch around. So that's going to be six increases total. This is going to bring you up from six stitches around to 12 stitches. So you should have 12 stitches by the end of round two here. And feel free to actually go a little bit loose um, with your crochet. I mean, don't go like crazy loose. But you don't have to crochet this very tightly. In fact, by crocheting it too tightly, it won't fit fully on your character's heads. Um, or it might just be kind of, you know, tight. So just try to crochet a little bit loosely so you have some wiggle room if you made it um, a little bit too tight. Okay. So that's going to be the end of round two. Now before we begin round three, we're going to cut this end. Now if you want, you can leave this end uh, a little long and you can pull it through the hole and create a little knot on it, which is how I make uh, this little fun uh, top part of this hat. This is my uh, orc named Bobo. <laughs> okay, so we're on round three now. For round three, we're going to single crochet one to the first stitch, and then we'll be doing an increase into the next stitch. Okay. And we're going to repeat that six times uh, around. So that's one single crochet and then one increase six times in a row. So let's do our second repeat here. So there's a single crochet. And then here's our increase. We'll be at six stitches. And this is going to bring you up from 12 stitches around to 18 stitches around. So by the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches in a circle. The base version of this pattern is actually pretty... Um, pretty simple. Uh, I, I think I haven't changed it at all since I first made it, but I have added a lot of different variations. And I'll be showing you how you can make this probably for other amigurumi if you want. Basically we're going to be making it, um, you can make it without ear holes to make it for other amigurumi, which I'll show you in just a second. For round two here, we're just going to, I mean, round two, we're on round four. For round four here, we're going to be doing a single crochet into each stitch around. So that's just going to be 18 stitches around, and you're just going to keep doing a single crochet 
until we get all the way around to uh, the beginning. So we'll just keep going. Yeah, but like I was saying, uh, to make this for other amigurumi, um, I think I'm going to probably end up creating different variations of this pattern to fit other characters like ogres and hobgoblins. Um, but if you want to make this for other amigurumi, we're just going to have to make it without ear holes, and we'll have to do single crochets instead, which I'll explain in just a second once I finish round um, four here. Okay. And here's our last stitch in round four. All right. That's going to be the end of round four. For round five, we'll be making the ear holes, and uh, this will actually be the last uh, round in this pattern. For if you're making this for other amigurumi, instead of doing ear holes, um, simply make, I would say, either a half double crochet or a single crochet into the stitch that we're going to be working into. So for an ear hole, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to skip the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to skip this stitch right here. And we're going to start working into that stitch, the next one over. And we're going to slip stitch into the next one. So we're going to skip that one and slip stitch into this one. And this is what I mean. Instead of doing an ear hole here, if you don't, if your character doesn't have ears, for example, I would do just either a half double crochet or a single crochet into that stitch. Okay, so there's a slip stitch. We're going to do eight slip stitches in a row. So there's our first one. So one, two, and make sure these slip stitches are pretty soft. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so it's pretty simple, just eight slip stitches all the way across. And now we're going to make another ear hole. So to do that, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip the next stitch, which is right there. And we're going to single crochet into the next one over. So skip this one, single crochet into that stitch. Okay, and we're actually going to single crochet six times in a row. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and here is six. And then in this next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. So we yarn over and pull that all the way through. And now we can cut the yarn. You want to leave it um, really not that long, about that. That's probably good. I'm just going to pull it all the way through. And we're going to create a hidden end here. So we want to thread this end on our needle. Okay. We're going to go into the back of the next stitch right here. Okay, so go in through the back of it just like so. Okay, and then go back through where this stitch is coming out, where this thread is coming out right there. I'm going to go back straight through the center of that stitch and then go hide it into a few stitches here. So we're just going to go into the backs of, like, let's say, like four stitches like that. Okay, pull this a little bit tighter now. And you don't want to pull this too tight. But we can go ahead and pull this through. And the idea here was to recreate a single crochet so you can't really tell where it is, just like so. And uh, like I said, don't pull this too tight. We go ahead and cut the end pretty close. Okay. And that's how to make the base version of this pattern. So let's grab a little uh, troll here. And let's put it on his head. Go around both these ears. Pull the ears through, and there we go. Now he's got a little helmet, so he's protected just in case. Oh, it's actually backwards. You can see where the front is because it's the slip stitches that we worked on. That's the front of it. So let's try this again. There we go. And then here's the other ear. And boom. There we go. Now it's right. There we go. Now he's got a little helmet just in case he gets into battle. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you want the full bundle of patterns to learn how to make things like soldier helmets, uh, skull helmets, and hoodies, uh, go to thegoblinoids.com and either purchase the bundle or become a Club Crochet member or a Louis Loops Patreon supporter for $5 a month. Not only does it really help me uh, continue making these videos, but I just think this is such a cool pattern and I really, really think you're going to enjoy it. Thanks so much again for watching. Pasta la pizza. 
and happy hooking. Bye.